What is going on everyone? Welcome to another video from Feature Tech. In this video, I am super excited to compare the first ever iPhone first gen that came back in 2007 to the iPhone 12 Pro Max that just came out last year. Now this comparison video is clearly not advice on which one you should buy, but really showing you how far technology has come, especially from Apple in the last 14 years. So let's get started. Let's begin by talking measurements and screen size. Starting off with the measurements, the iPhone first generation measured at 115 by 61 by 11.6 millimeters, while the iPhone 12 Pro Max measured 160.8 by 78.1 by 74 millimeters in measurements. Now, as far as screen size, then you can really tell the difference between the two because the iPhone first generation featured a screen size of only three and a half inches. It's insane to me that it, you know, it started so small and people were happy with it at that size. And now it grew into such a large screen size because now the iPhone 12 Pro Max features 6.7 inch screen size. So almost double the screen size in a matter of 13 to 14 years. Now let's talk about memory. Now, when the iPhone first generation came out, it came out in three memory sizes. And this is gonna blow everybody's mind. But when the first iPhone came out, it was available in four, eight, and 16 gigabytes. That's it. Nowadays, the iPhones start selling at 128 gigabytes. So that just goes to show you how much, you know, how far technology has come in the last 14 years. And, you know, currently the iPhone that you're looking at, the iPhone 12 Pro Max that I'm showing you has 512 gigabytes. So pretty much it has the same amount of memory as 50% or a, really a ton of computers out being sold on the market. So moving on to the iPhone 12 Pro Max, like I already mentioned, it starts at 128 gigabytes and it can go up to the one I'm showing you, which is 512 gigabytes. Now, when it comes to RAM, the iPhone first generation featured 128 megabytes of RAM, which is at that time, it was very impressive. Moving on to the iPhone 12 Pro Max, the iPhone 12 Pro Max features six gigabytes of RAM. So as you can see, also quite an improvement in that 14 year period. Let's now talk battery because the iPhone first generation features 1,440 milliamp hour battery, while the iPhone 12 Pro Max features a 3,687 milliamp hour battery. So really we're talking about a two and a half time improvement over the last 13 to 14 years, which is really impressive considering how much the iPhone does nowadays comparing to the first ever iPhone that came out. Now, as far as talk time, the talk time for the iPhone first gen is eight hours while the iPhone 12 Pro Max is 21 hours. So again, quite an improvement in the last decade. Sticking with the battery, let's compare now how far the openings for the batteries have changed. So I know, excuse me, it is a bit dirty. I did buy this phone, the iPhone first gen used. So it's a bit beaten up. So I know it's very dirty. I can't wait to see the comments, but as you can see, you have a larger opening here for the iPhone first gen, and you have the lightning cable input here for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And to show you in perspective, the cables, here's what they look like. So right here, you have your lightning and your uh, charger for the iPhone first gen and take a look how much they have changed. Take a look at the size difference. That, that is quite an improvement. Let's now move on to the most notable improvement that everybody can notice, which is resolution. Now the resolution when the iPhone first gen came out, it was 163 pixels per inch. And that translates to a resolution of 320 by 480 pixels. So that was the first generation iPhone. Now the iPhone 12 Pro Max has 1,284 by 2,778 pixels. And it has a pixel per inch of 458. So again, in a little over a decade, 
we're talking about almost triple the pixel improvement per inch on the iPhone. That's really impressive considering how much screen size has increased over the years and how much you can do with the phone. One notable design feature that has definitely changed throughout the years is the back of the phone, the camera. Now, as you can tell, there's a huge difference between the iPhone first generation camera and the iPhone 12 Pro Max camera. Again, way bigger cameras, way bigger improvements over the years. So the iPhone uh, first generation offered a two megapixel camera. It did not have a video feature, which means that you couldn't record any videos. It had video playback, but it did not have the feature where you can record your videos on your phone, on your camera. So that is kind of, it's, it's really hard to believe that that was the case, you know, years ago. Also, you have no front facing camera. It was only the one camera to the back and that's it. Now moving on to the iPhone 12 Pro Max, it actually features a 12 megapixel camera for the front and back, and you can record at 4K by 60 FPS footage. So huge, huge, huge improvement over that time. Let's now talk CPU. Now the CPU for the iPhone first generation was 412 megahertz in ARM CPU, while the iPhone 12 Pro Max was a hexa-core, and it featured two 3.1 gigahertz Firestorm chips and four 1.8 gigahertz Ice Storms. So definitely a huge, huge, huge improvement in the CPU, and really it had to be improved because the iPhone nowadays does way more than what it did, you know, years ago. So now let's do a simple speed test between these two phones so I can show you guys how much more faster the iPhone 12 Pro Max is. So we're just gonna do a very simple test by going to google.com. I did have to turn the phones a little bit to the side so there's no glare at the top. So I'm gonna press at the same time in one, two, three. So as you can see, the iPhone 12 Pro Max was significantly faster, as you can imagine. But it's still very impressive to me how much more faster. So now let's do another test where we go to apple.com. So we're gonna go one, two, and three. So Apple immediately loaded on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. We're still waiting on the iPhone first generation. It's loading, 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 slowly getting there. <laughs> it's, it's really funny, guys. It really is how, how much things have changed in the last decade or so. It's insane. So as you can see, it finally loaded up, finally. And even when it loads up, the scripts now for these websites are not really able to load properly on the iPhone first generation because it didn't have the technology. But check out the difference in how, for example, this loads. So I'm gonna move this to the side a little bit. As you can see, I can't move to the left, so I'm stuck seeing this. So this is what I should be seeing, and this is how it's coming up on the iPhone first generation. Now what I'm gonna do is test out the cameras between these two phones by taking a picture of this speaker right here on the table and then I'm gonna show you the photos on your screen after when I finish so you can examine them in detail and you can see how much change occurred with photos in the last 14 years. The final thing I wanna test and show you is how long even opening the simplest app can take. So I'm gonna launch both of these phones camera apps at the same time and you can better take a look at how fast the app opens up and it's ready to go from the iPhone 12 Pro Max versus the iPhone first generation. So let's do it in one, two, and three. 
as you can see, a drastic difference in the camera between the iPhone 12 Pro Max and the iPhone first generation. One last thing I wanna to touch upon before we end this video is some of the notable advertised features when these phones came out. So with the iPhone first generation, some of the notable features were predictive text input, audio slash video player, photo viewer, and even Google Maps, which it's crazy to think about now that this was advertised as a big deal back then, but it was a big deal. Now with the iPhone 12 Pro Max, if you go to the Apple website right now, you'll see some of the notable features that is being advertised is the Super Retina XDR display, the ceramic shield glass, the IP68 water resistance technology that it has, the water resistance, I'm sorry, it's not a technology, but the water resistance it has, the 5G, the 5G network compatibility, and even the LiDAR scanner. So a lot of advancements have come along in the last 14 years, and it's just super impressive, and it really makes, um, it really gives the answer to anybody who's wondering why have phones gotten so much more expensive? And for the simple reason is, is that if you think about what phones were doing 15, 14 years ago, even a little bit before the iPhone came out, the first iPhone came out, and you will understand why. Because, you know, because of all these features, they keep adding year after year, they have to keep improving and, you know, keep adding a bigger processor, a bigger CPU. All these things add up. It costs manufacturers a lot of money to do this stuff. Now, of course, Apple has its huge markup, but it's still not cheap at the end of the day. So I get this all the time, which is like, oh my God, when the iPhone first came out, it cost $300, $400, and it was so much more affordable than today. But really think about what you were able to do with the $400 when you have your iPhone back in 2007 versus when you pay $1,200 for the iPhone today, what you're able to do with it. I mean, really there's an app for everything today. You can scan documents, you can literally play games in, in such amazing resolution and quality that it's unlike really anything else when it comes to a handheld device. So really there's many things to keep in mind when you're asking yourself, you know, as far as these improvements, the price increases, there's a reason for it. So this was my comparison video between the iPhone 12 Pro Max and the iPhone first generation from Apple. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And please let me know down below what is your favorite feature that they improved upon in the last decade. So I hope you have a great day. Take care.